Sevgili arkadaşlar herkese merhaba. Şu anda Tayvan'dayız. Yanımda Asus'tan Benjamin Yeh var. Kendisiyle konuşacağız. Çünkü kendisi PC ve oyuncu tarafında Asus'un önemli isimlerinden birisi. Bizim de bölgemizin aslında sorumlularından birisi. Benjamin, first of all, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much for this, uh, having, uh, this, uh, for the time for the interview. It's my pleasure. First of all, I'm going to ask you, what is next for Asus as a gaming brand? That's a good question. I would like to answer the, this topic from two parts. One is from the Huawei point of view. The other one is from the ecosystem point mm-hmm. of view. So from the Huawei point of view actually in this year you they say we already announced several innovations mm-hmm. including in cs we announced our latest flagship device the mothership yeah. so that is the latest rtx 2080 mm-hmm. uh gaming laptop but at the same time at the same time can become a 21 and separated keyboard and the screen and at the same time the base itself because it's so strong can actually also function as a desktop mm-hmm. and uh, so we believe that gamers uh they have very specific uses scenario and it would be this is necessary or it is very important to satisfy different scenario uses scenarios mm-hmm. for the gamers so that's from the harder point of view we believe there will be more and more fun factors mm-hmm. there will be more and more innovations more and more product features mm-hmm. on the gaming device and on the other hand if we talk about from the this uh, from the ecosystem point of mm-hmm. view we believe, uh, so not only to say we believe, we would like to, they say we are working with the different stakeholders mm-hmm. to deliver the combined user, uh, let's say, gamer experience mm-hmm. uh, to the uh, the best gamer experience to the gamers. So for instance, we are, uh, they say that when we talk about gamers playing games, we are talking about a hardware that we are, Asus is a provider, we talk about the game titles, mm-hmm. so they are, yeah, they are uh, game producers. We talk about the environments that we're in, uh, within which they are playing the games. So we talk about the different tournaments, mm-hmm. and all those things together form a complete user experience or mm-hmm. gamer experience. So from our hardware, yes, we are doing that, and f- for the game titles, we are working with these uh, the game developers, and uh, not only from the product design point of view to have some more in-gaming features like uh, our aura sync, the lighting effects we can have the they say we work with some of the major titles mm-hmm. uh, starting from last year already and to have the special uh, they say gaming effects like when you're playing games when you're they say uh, the, the life level is uh, until a certain degree and so when you get hit or something's happening in the game and the hardware would they say uh, produce different kind of sound mm-hmm. or different kind of they say different kind of uh, lighting effect and so that people or these gamers can feel they are really in the game and so so we are talking about the immersive total gamer mm-hmm. uh, experience then if we talk about the tournaments we are asus is the exclusive uh, they say a uh, sponsor for the esl mm-hmm. and because we believe the environments or the, the experience when where gamers playing games is also very mm-hmm. important they say uh, 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 for us mm-hmm. as you know that asus is a very well known company focused on the engineering side and also the product quality but when we check your competitors also every single company focused on the gaming side try to make differences to use the, some kind of design methodology at the end of the day same performance because of the same chipset same gpu same cpu or something like that so do you think customers or the hardcore gamers need more innovation from the company companies to fill the differences? Okay. Um, on one hand, they say if we talk about the digital spec, same digital spec may not necessarily they say guarantee the same performance or the same experience. And on the other hand, on top of the digital spec, the features are actually will actually affect the end user's experience. Mm-hmm. So if we come to, come to the digital spec part first, um, our latest uh, our latest uh, ROG gaming uh, notebook, they come with, for instance, the factory default overclocking mm-hmm. feature. So which means based on the same CPU, mm-hmm. our device provides the option for the end users to experience a superior, uh, they say, uh, performance compared to the regular, our, they say, competitor meter device. Mm-hmm. Or, for instance, if we talk about, they say, for the, no matter from the GPU point of view, from the CPU point of view, we're not talking about one single component. Mm-hmm. We're talking about how each component talk to each other, 
And for ASUS, we came from multiple backgrounds. Yeah. And so we are very, they said we are very proud of our double E engineering capability mm -hmm. because it's all about efficiency. A slight difference design on the circuit mm -hmm. may deliver different kind of performance. So yes, we all use, we may use similar CPU or GPU, mm -hmm. but the result will be different. So that's for the digital spec point of view. And from the feature point of view, I'm sure they say on ASUS devices, no matter we talk about the Strix, mm -hmm. the Keystone feature, which yeah. is very, very unique. Interesting, yeah. Yep. And say so we talk about uh, the Zephyrus, mm -hmm. the AS cooling uh, the design, that's also very unique. If we talk about the mothership, we talk mm -hmm. about yeah, separate the laptop uh, screen from the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are trying to deliver this uh, not only the digital spec, mm -hmm. but the user experience. By the way, more or less all competitors during this year's Computex says um, we have the best overclocking capability notebook in our portfolio. Mm -hmm. All competitors. So maybe you have to focus on human to machine interactions. Uh, for example, maybe AR, maybe VR. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Um, yes, yeah, certainly. The, they say, uh, the A, uh, you talk about AI. AR, yeah. AR. Yeah. Okay. Argument reality. Okay. That is also, that, that's a very interesting uh, topic uh, because we're talking about not only hardware, uh, let's say, innovation, not only it's about software innovation, we talk about the total solution. Yeah. We talk about the ecosystem. And uh, yes, potentially, uh, the AR uh, can be a trend in the future. Mm -hmm. We may see different, uh, let's say, applications, no matter from the consumer side, maybe gaming, mm -hmm. or from the commercial side. And so, so there are a lot of possibilities. All I can say today is that we are working hard in this field and, we'll, we, this, uh, and uh, we will be, they say, we will be announcing different devices when mm -hmm. it's ready. So before any car interview, do you have any message to Turkish customers? Because ASUS actually has a very big fan base in Turkey. So maybe do you want to say something to the customers in Turkey? Okay. so. Tur this issues this uh, Turkey Turkish market has been a very important market for issues for the they say as far as I can remember and so uh, we really appreciate they say the acceptance and also the support from the Turkish mm -hmm. customers and we believe that uh, uh, this when we okay actually in the last few years because Turkish is so important for us you know, uh, we when we develop new products when we do the market survey mm -hmm. Turkish end users no matter in terms of focus group or in general the stu general study we always consider the Turkish market as one of the other uh, the key uh, studies and we'll keep doing this and uh, yeah we will we hope or we would like uh, we hope that the Turkish customer can keep supporting us good to hear that. thank you very much for your time thank you very much Evet arkadaşlar, Benjamin Ye, Asus'un bizim de ülkemizi kapsayan bir bölgeden sorumlu genel müdürüydü kendisi. Oyunlar, özellikle oyun tarafıyla ilgili aklımızdaki soruların bir kısmını sorma şansı yakaladık. Bir sonraki videoda görüşene kadar şimdilik hoşçakalın, kendinize iyi bakın.